holiday considerations. Does that mean choosing capacity over power? No. It means a lot of other things, but I'm not going to tell you what gun to carry. And uh, today's a day for some practice with my SP-101. Okay, this time of year, people are in a hurry. People are aggressive. They're impatient. You know, a lot of us are under stress because of many outside forces that we deal with now in this country. So what do we do during the holidays? Maybe we need to step back and be a little patient. Now let me tell you a story of what not to do. Now, my buddy Buck is a Georgia redneck. And, and Buck's a good guy. He's one of my best friends. Uh, I would trust my life to him and have done so on many occasions. But you know, he gets very frustrated at drivers who are texting as they go down the road. He's been almost hit multiple times and almost run off the road multiple times. He works two jobs and he gets time is money for him. And he gets very impatient with people who ride up to a stop sign or to a red light and they're sitting there texting. They're texting, they're not moving. You know, the light's green, the road's clear, and they're sitting there on that phone texting. All right, so Buck put an air horn in his Dodge truck. And if he gets behind somebody who's at a stop sign or a red light and they're not going anywhere, he'll lay on that, that air horn. Oh! And usually that gives them the message and they get on across the intersection like they should be doing. But something happened the other day. Buck pulled up behind a young lady at an intersection. She was at the stop sign and she was texting. He waited, he waited. Okay, she's just sitting there texting. The road's clear. So he lays on the air horn. Whoa! Of course, the young lady jumps, then she turns around, shoots him a bird, and then starts texting again. Not going anywhere. Well, Buck being Buck, he lay down on that horn again. Whoa! This time, the lady pulls a gun out. And she doesn't point him at it, but she waves the gun at him. And Buck, being Buck, reaches down, pulls out his 1911 compact, and he waves it back at that young lady. To which she hit the gas, boom, into the intersection, almost hit another vehicle, and away she went. Now, it's a funny story, and I hope you get a laugh out of it, but in retrospect, what were the opportunity costs? That young woman could have caused an accident. Now, Buck being Buck had everything on video camera, on dash cam, but once again, somebody might have got seriously hurt because of that young woman's stupidity. Other things, she could have gone into road rage mode and started popping off rounds at Buck. So realistically, my opinion, the best thing to do is just be patient with people like that, especially this time of year. Now let's talk about some other things to be on the lookout for. Right now, we have a lot of homeless people in our society. Some through no fault of them, uh, their own, some because they have mental issues, some because uh, they're on drugs and alcohol. So anyway, the point is, you have to be very careful. And the reason why, uh, well, a year or so ago, and this is a good example of what could happen, there was a transient homeless guy coming from Savannah, Georgia, into the town of Hardyville, South Carolina. He got kicked out of the hotel he was staying in, and he wanted somebody to take him from point A to point B, whatever point B was. Well, there was a 77-year-old man in a parking lot across the street in his truck, minding his own business. The transient came up to him, hey, 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 I need your truck, I need your truck. I need you to take me somewhere. I need to use your truck. And of course, the uh, elderly gentleman, he got flustered, upset. There was an argument and he tried to drive away to which uh, the transient pulls out a gun and shoots him seven times, killing him. 
So I want to give you a word of caution in dealing with panhandlers, beggars, uh, people who are transients. You know, don't uh, don't talk to them. You know, be aware, but don't make eye contact. Don't uh, show them any attention. Especially, don't argue with them. Don't insult them. You know, just tell them if you have to. I don't have any money, and keep on going. Or I can't help you, and keep on going. And uh, be very aware. Now, a few tips that I can give you. Number one is always carry some form of light, especially if you're traveling at night or in the evenings. Now, it doesn't have to be an expensive light. I think I paid 10 bucks for this one. But anyway, a light shined in the face of a potential uh, predator can go a long way to giving you time to get out of there. Or if you need to find something, you need to find your keys or you drop something, you know, a light comes in very, or if your car breaks down, that light comes in very handy. Now, another thing, when you're in a parking lot or when you're just driving, period, keep your doors locked. Number one, for safety reasons, in case you're in an accident. But number two, if you're in a parking lot, a drive through a teller machine, etc., if your doors are locked, you can't have somebody come up and try to get in to your vehicle. Now, as many of you who follow this channel know, you know, I'm left-handed. You know, it pays to be able to utilize your non-dominant hand. And to practice doing things like opening your car door with that non-dominant hand. In case you were, someone potentially tried to mug you and you got your key, you know, you can push them away or do some type of defensive maneuver. So, to recap, be patient, even with aggressive or hostile or rude or inconsiderate people. Be patient. You always carry some form of light. Lock your doors of your vehicle when you're in it. And last but not least, be able to use your non-dominant hand. And this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness wishing you a blessed holiday season.